Now the first step is to make sure that there is enough hard drive space. Now for this you can go to File Explorer, go to this PC and make sure your drive has enough space. If there is no space you can make some space and then you can check. Next step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer and after the system restart you can check. Still you are receiving the error message. In that case run Steam as an administrator. So go to Steam. On the top left click on Steam and then click on Exit. Once Steam is closed, now you can type in Steam in Windows search box, make a right click on Steam and then click on run as administrator and then check. Next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, make sure that you allow the exe file and the complete game folder to the exception list of that particular antivirus program. Now if you are using Windows security, in that case you can open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have Windows 11, if you have Windows 10, click on update and security. Now click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down, at the end you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Now click on allow an app through controlled folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program file 686. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. And then open the common folder. Once you open the common folder, you will find the game folder. Open the game folder. Select the game exe file. If you have multiple exe files, select all the exe file and then click on open. And once the game is added over here, now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now go to system and security windows defender firewall and then click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings in the top click on allow another app click on browse and again go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder select the game exe file once you select all the exe file and then you can click on open once it is added to the firewall now you can launch the game and check still you are receiving the error in that case the next step is to like you can disable your antivirus program for some time till the time you are downloading or installing the game you can disable it for some time and once you are done downloading or updating the game you can enable your antivirus program once again and then check Next step is to clear download cache. Now for this go to Steam and then Steam and then go to settings and then go to downloads. Over here you will see an option which says clear cache. Click on it and then confirm and once it is done now you can the Steam will restart and then you can check. Now still you are receiving the error message then you try multiple times. So when you receive the error just just click the play button or uh, download button just spam it so just keep on clicking on play or install or download and it may be success one time this has worked for a few players so it might work for you you can try this now the next step is to repair steam library now for this you can go to steam so go to steam then click on steam and then go to settings and this time go to storage and over here select the drive where the game is installed if the game installed to C drive, select C drive. If the game installs to some other drive like D drive or E drive, you can select your drive over here and then click on these three dots and then you will see the repair library option. So click on repair library and then click on yes to allow and let the repair complete. Once this is done, now you can verify the game files after this and then check. Next step is to verify the game files. So just go to the library and then make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify so go to install tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is done now you can check still not working uncheck read only on the steam folder now for this uh, you can go to file explorer then go to this pc open c drive now open program file 686 now find the steam folder make a right on steam folder go to properties and then you have to uncheck read only from here so uncheck this box and then hit apply click on ok and let the process complete and then you can now you can launch the steam once again and then check next step is to 
allow steam full control on windows and then verify the game files after this now for this um, go to steam folder once again and then make our icon steam and then go to properties go to security tab this time and then select your username over here so whichever is your username select your username and then click on edit and then make sure full control here you can see full control put a check on full control then hit apply click on ok hit apply and then click on ok and then you can check now the next step is to perform windows update so go to windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update now once all the updates are installed right now here you can see version 24h2 so which, whichever update you find over here just update it and then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to uninstall the game and then you can uninstall the game delete the game folder so go to the steam make a right click on the game and then click on uninstall now after the uninstall delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then reinstall the game to another drive and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the disk error with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel